Good morning. Let me give you a quick garden tour. Okay, so, so he's in the greenhouse right now, which is where we have a couple of things. We've got a special project and then Evan just put some pumpkins and gourds, which I'm so excited about for fall. But look, the pumpkins. They're getting their new growth. I'm so excited. I can't believe we're gonna have pumpkins. There's like a 95% germination rate on these guys. So, really good. All right, here is the garden. Those toys are so cool. So right up front, we have roses, which I am starting to train. I haven't gotten all the pieces um, on there, but I'm starting to train them to the left and to the right. This one I have not put on yet. Is it soft enough to? Yeah, it is still soft enough to, but I need to do it soon. And you can see it's got all kinds of little buds. I learned in the process, I'm a two year gardener, I'm fairly new, but I have learned that all the little red spots are where you will get flowers. And that is just so cool because you can see that a lot sooner. Here's one of the beautiful roses. Hi. Beautiful rose. You can see those red spots a lot sooner than you can see um, other things. So I love that. Okay, moving around. This is where I was weeding, and Leo said I was doing a good job, so I must be. It's a loser. Oh, great. Okay, this is one of my favorite little plants. I'll see if I can find the name for you. Um, it went dormant in the winter, but I just love the coloring on it. I love how it's pink and green. Anything pink and green reminds me of my grandma. All right, let's start here. We've got daisies. Happy daisies. Daisies are so happy and so easy. Um, they do take two years to bloom, or at least the ones that I have in here. I want to say those are Hawkeye daisies, and I don't remember what those ones are called. I will say, uh-oh, I've got some chamomile that's ready to pick. See how it's doming over like that? This chamomile is ready to pick. I think I'll just... I don't know, because my basket's over there. All the way over there. Okay. I'll get the basket and pick in a minute. Okay. Zinnias, some leftover collards, which I can grab again, I guess. I was trying to leave the root in the ground, but then it, it grew again. And I think it's stealing some of the nutrients, honestly, in this area. So I've got to probably just pull it up. This is third year asparagus. And I've never seen it do this before. But look at the little... Apparently those are going to be seeds or beads or something. Let's go get peas. There are peas in the garden. Um, I'm leaving a few sets of garlic in. Black eyed seasons are almost ready. Okay, we've got peas on either side. Let's see, I'll pick the high ones, you pick the low ones. There you go. Oh, that one looks really good. Are you eating it? You're trying to get the stuff out of the middle. I need to go get my basket, Leo. That way I can collect this stuff. So I have a couple different kinds of peas here. Let's see what we got. These are sweet peas. These are the ones that we like. Um, the ones with the beans in the middle. Those, the one that he's trying to figure out, are not sweet peas. And we don't love them as much. All right, let me make this quick. So I've got some lilies going in around here. I will get the rest of these peas off. Oh yeah, those are little pods. You can get them out. Okay, down here, I have dahlias coming in hot here, here. I've got some, finally, cosmos coming in. Um, I should actually water out here right now. This is the end of the poppies. I missed about a week's worth of pruning back these poppies and I think they're kind of done, but I'm kind of done with them. This is overgrown, going to see the lettuce, dahlias, um, more cosmos. I just came through and pulled out a whole row of garlic. I, these are onions that I put in after I put in the garlic. That is a second year, hopefully happy peony. Um, 
You found a pea. Look what I found. Wow. Look. Cool. Mm -hmm. Cucumbers coming up, hoping that they're gonna be protected from the squash bugs. You gonna try it? Let me know how it tastes. And then some more onions that I need to pull things away from. A little cucumber. No, I think this one's a watermelon. I didn't label a lot this year. Um, strawberries. It is time to go inside, but I thought I'd quickly show you what I got. Um, maybe actually it'd be easier for you to see this inside. Here's what I got. Um, I just picked hydrangeas, strawberries. I got two that just have the tip that need to be finished off. Figure maybe I can get those to ripen in the house and the bugs won't take them and they're finest moment and then probably got like 10 pea pods these pea pods are the kind that I love and then I got lots of lavender so let's see if I can quickly set this up in a way that is aesthetic and show it to you but that is what I'm up to I would love to know ways that you guys are centering your heart on home and Christ and your first love and your most precious assets for lack of a better way to put it um what are some ways that you are really refocusing and recentering right now how are you going about that um, let me know in the comments thank you so much for watching if you have not already subscribed please like and subscribe um, those two things help you to see another video that i put out and they help other people to find these videos so until next time thanks for watching